also, are you dealing with all the pressure right now? I mean, Christmas is coming around the corner. You got year in, you got financial things. How am I doing on these records and that? All of this is pressing on us and God in the midst of it goes, okay, time out. We're about to hit into a new month where God does a theme. It's the 10th month. 10 is a divine number dealing with divine order, but it's also a number when we are assessed against that. It's called judged, to be judged, but that doesn't mean to be condemned. It means to be weighed in the balance. So it is a month in the 10th month when Nebuchadnezzar lays siege to Jerusalem because it's a judgment against how Jerusalem has missed the will of God. But it's also the month in which Esther is promoted up and she becomes queen because she is judged rightly in the midst of that. So it is a time for us to take that time out and look at ourselves and go, OK, quick check. How am I doing? It's also a month that's aligned with the tribe of Dan. And Dan is a tribe with tremendous promise. Uh, about how they're going to be a righteous judge, about how they're going to be a cunning warrior that strikes at the heel of the enemy and springs like a lion cub out of Bashan. But Dan never reaches its potential because it's constantly plagued by these problems, these distractions. And all of it, I believe, goes back to how things got rolling. And that was via Rachel's push and taking very a very narcissistic approach. There's a time now for us to watch the issue of narcissism. In other words, it sounds good, but it really is ultimately about us. It's about what our needs are, our passions, our desires. And we may cover it in a lot of things, but God just will expose that in this time. We see that in Rachel, and she ultimately speaks a word curse that comes to fulfillment. And we see it played out in another Danite, who is Samson who, even though he wreaks vengeance on the enemies, it's all, according to his prayer, about getting revenge for his own eyes. He misses the kingdom piece. And so Dan, oddly enough, in the book of Revelation, when all the tribes are listed about having this great inheritance, 12,000 from, 12,000 from this tribe, Dan's name is missing. In this time to cross over into a new month and then into a new Gregorian calendar year, God is saying, time out rightly judge according to my divine standards where you are and how you are. Paul addresses this in 1 Corinthians 11 when he says we need to rightly judge ourselves lest we be judged. Take the time now. I know you're busy, but take the time to stand before the Lord and go, okay, God, what needs to be sorted out and corrected in me so we can move forward into this time of increasing light and increasing revelation? Good or bad thing? No, it's a good thing. Dan is a warfare tribe. Did you notice where he was? You probably didn't notice real quick, but he's the 10th tribe. He is actually the banner over the last, the last three tribes are all under the banner of Dan. That's your rear guard.